everybody. Welcome back. Today I'm putting on my apron for a lesson in baking. And joining us today is chef extraordinaire and the owner of the Sono Baking Company and the author of the fourth company, com coming book, I should say, the Sono Baking Company cookbook. We've got John Baricelli here. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. All right, let's set this up again. What are we making? Uh, we're making, it's a classic French dessert, and it's called apple tatatan, and it's basically an upside-down apple tart. So we put a little bit of sugar in the pan, which we're making here, um, a little pat of butter, then we put the apples, and then a, a nice little piece of pastry. Now, we obviously, in my cookbook, make the pat brise, which is a classic French dough. Okay. Or you can buy puff pastry from the Ooh. frozen section of the supermarket, or you can buy pie dough. Okay. You know, if you want to cut corners even further. Um, but this dough you can make in big batches, wrap it up in little pieces, put it in the freezer, it lasts for three, four months. And this months. is a recipe you learned at the Le Cordon Bleu cooking school. Yes, many years ago, 1980, I went over to see um, a friend of mine, and um, uh, uh, while she was working, I went and took some day classes at Le Cordon Bleu, and uh, again, this is one of the recipes that they taught. Ah, so all right. So over here, what I have is just granulated sugar. Okay. And enough water to make it like applesauce consistency. So how much of the how much did you use of the sugar? Um, it's three quarters of a cup of sugar and just a few tablespoons of water. And then what we do is we put a drop of acid. Now we're using lemon juice because it's very accessible. You can use white wine vinegar. But why are you using that? Now the the acid actually stops the crystallization or helps prevent the crystallization of can the we get sugar. Get a shot of that. Look at that. Yeah, wow. it's just sugar and water right now. But we're going to get it to a nice dark golden amber. So okay, um, that's the golden. Yeah, okay. That, so, um, in the interim, you can start to roll out the dough. Okay, we'll move that out of the way. And you're going to want to get it to be like four, so I can get four pieces out. Oh, wow, and this is pretty hard over here. Yeah, nice okay. and cold. Whoa, all right. And I'm really... going to peel the apples. Do I want to put some flour in here, John? Or yes. is it Okay. Yeah, go How ahead. How much? Well, just just a little bit sprinkle? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And you said the colder the flour, the better. The colder the, 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 the dough. The dough. The better. Yes. Yeah, flour isn't always cold, though, John. <laughs> it's not cold. No. Okay, have mercy on me, will you, John? Help me out here. I know you're good at Whew, that. So. My husband is the cook and the baker, not me. All right, here we go. I'm learning, though. Okay, okay. now what do we want to do? As uh, I'm doing this, what are you going. doing? Keep going. I'm just peeling the apples, and again, we're using a Granny Smith or any good baking apple, like okay. a Rome or a Cortland. It doesn't have to be a green apple, but I prefer the uh, Granny Smith because they're nice and tart. In what additions or what did you do to kind of personalize it that's so different than how you learned? Well, we do them individually, and this is a much quicker method. Okay. In um, France, what they do is they actually cook the apples on the stovetop, like in a saute pan or a frying pan, and when they're browned that way, um, they put the dough on the top and then they bake it. This okay. here, you'll see that we just put the apple in raw, which okay. saves you a great deal of time, and then we let the oven do all the work. Ah, oh, okay. And you said any apple will work. Uh, well, any, no, I, any good baking apple, like okay. a Cortland or a Rome or a okay. Granny Smith. Again, I'm using Granny Smith because it's my preference. All right. But as this boils down and the moisture evaporates, the sugars start to caramelize. So that's what we're waiting for right now. Okay, perfect. And if you were doing this at home for our viewers, how long do you think start to finish this would take to make? Um, you're actually watching it, so we can time it. It's probably going to be about five, six minutes. Okay, perfect. Wow. All right. Tell us what else you have working because we know you have your own show. Tell us about that, John. Um, my show just started. It's the sixth season Ooh. of Everyday Food. It's on PBS stations. And um, uh, we're on about 85 to 90 percent of the country, so you can watch it generally on the oh. weekends. Um, PBS tends to bunch the cooking shows together, so if you check your local listings, um, you could find, uh, you know, where it's, where it's uh, airing. Ooh, okay, John, listen, I've had a workout. I'm done. Okay, okay that's enough. Uh, yeah, Ooh, just right? a little. Yeah. Wait, a little bit more, a little bit more. John says, let me get on in here. I'm going <laughs> to let John get in there. Go ahead, it's John. A, this Work is a great out. pin. You get to use your palms. Yeah. And a, a lot of French chefs actually use their forearms. Really? Just for a little extra elbow grease. Yeah, just to get it. Oh, All right, that's you really want to cut nice out and four thin. Of those. Now, shoot. Like this? Uh, is there any way they can? Uh, Let's see. What, what what happened here? What are we looking we're at? Waiting, we're waiting. We wanted to caramelize okay. a little bit more. All right. All right. Let's see. Let, we wanted to caramelize. We needed to caramelize a little bit more, right? Yeah, but keep the pot on. Otherwise. Okay, keep the pot on. There yeah. we go. That's what happens. See, look at there. Okay, and I'm going to cut these out. Okay, and then in each. Okay. Here we go. We'll do this one here. And what is the butter going to do? Just, I guess, of course, just kind of keep it well, from sticking? Well, it adds a little bit of consistency. It helps that sugar dissolve. Okay. How long have you been working and doing stuff with Martha Stewart? Because I know you've done a lot with her. This is about my um, 12th year. Wow. Whew. No nonsense. And, uh, okay. Now, do I want to put that in here, John? 
Not yet. Okay, We're not yet. We're going to put the caramel and okay. the apples. That looks good. And how are you cutting those? You cut them any way you'd like, but kind of small? We want nice big pieces. Okay. About quarters. Okay. Perfect. And do we place those in there? So it's not going. And it's not going? Oh, we're going to get it. No, no worries. Have a little faith, John. Oh, yes. Have a little faith. You work well under pressure like me. Look at you we sweating bullets the, over. He's sweating bullets, everybody. <laughs> we can't put the um, apples yet because we've got to put the sugar on the bottom. Okay. So what we're going to do is but we're going to wait for that This is why we start this first because you really, this goes on the bottom. The butter melts. Gives this a nice consistency. Okay. Then we place the apples upside down. Okay. Put the dough on top. All right. Right in the oven. So let, why don't we do this? When this, as we wait for this to caramelize, we're going to come back in just a little bit, so we can actually do it. So we'll wait for that to caramelize. Perfect. In the meantime, let's talk about this cookbook again, really sure. quickly. The only one being released until your actual release date, and tell us why, because it's a very special event. Well, we're doing um, uh, food for Haiti, which is a fundraiser at the Saugatuck Congregational Church in okay. Westport this Saturday. January 30th. Um, it's from 10 to 4. Okay. Um, and a lot of cookbook authors are donating their books for their cause. Um, there's going to be some Caribbean music and Caribbean food, some bakery it. items, and um, this is the only book that I have, and I'm donating it to the cause. That's awesome. We're going to have the cause on our website. John Baricelli, thank you so much. Stick around because we're going to finish this up. Okay. In the meantime, folks, you can try it for yourself. Log on to WTNH.com. Click on Connecticut Style. We'll get you the link. Don't go anywhere. We've got more Connecticut Style coming up right after this. Stick around. Okay. I'm going to eat a piece of this one, though, since it's this one's done. Now.